Hi there, this is going to be our final tutorial on the extruded components there and we're making the tree in this one here. We're going to be continuing to use command, CAD commands extrude um, but we are also going to be using fillet as well as mirror within the sketch environment. Again we're looking for our components to be molded really accurately and that means when it come, we come to assemble it it'll be a lot easier to make sure we've got all our dimensions right in the first place. So we uh, jump into on shape. We open my sweet dispenser document, and still got all my components in here. But I'm just going to go down to the bottom left here. Click the plus sign for insert new element, and we will create part studio. And um, from here, we're going to use the sketch again. But we're going to click on front this time. And I'm also going to click on front in the view cube just to rotate our view around so we're looking at where we're sketching face on. We're going to use the line tool. So up next to the rectangle tool is the line tool there. And we're going to hover over that middle point there. We're going to click there and we're going to do a vertical line up there. And then we're just going to press escape to get rid of that. I'm going to right click on that there and we're going to make that a construction line. We're going to be using that as a mirror plane later on. Next up we're going for the line tool again. Again, over that middle point there, making sure that's highlighted yellow. Clicking, we'll come out, um, click there. I'm going to go up, I'm going to go out to the right, making sure it's uh, horizontal. Down, making sure it's vertical, and it should snap to that. And then back to that middle line, okay? So we're a bit below where we started, and we're clicking there as well. And then we're pressing escape. I'm going to go up, grab the dimension tool. So this little line up here, we're going to click on that, click above it, it's going to have a dimension of 4. We're going to click that line, and then we're going to click the bottom line, and then we're going to come over to the right hand side, and we're going to click there, and that's also going to have a dimension of 4. On this inside line here, we're going to click on that, click above it, and that's going to have a dimension of 45. And then this ver inside vertical line, we're going to click on that, click to position our measurement, and that's going to have a dimension of 40. And then we can just press escape to get rid of the dimension tool. We're then going to select the mirror tool, which is up here. If we hover over it, you can see it says mirror. It's got like a symbol showing you what it does. So we'll click that, and it's asking us to select a mirror line. So we're just going to click on that construction line we added. And then select entities to be mirrored. What I recommend doing is just clicking and dragging a box to highlight all the lines we've drawn. And it mirrors those across. And then we can click complete the sketch. I'm just going to jump down to the isometric view there and then I'm going to extrude that out. So click on the extrude tool and just click the profile that we've created. And we're going to extrude that by 120 this time. And once we type 120, you can click that green tick and we've got that added in. As I said, we're now going to look to add fillets. Fillets are kind of adding a rounded corner there. And we're going to be using this tool here so it looks like a little round on the corner. So we're going to click that there. The first things we're going to add are going to be 40. So we're just going to change that radius to 40. And then we're going to click on these small little ed front edges. So one there. And one on the other side there as well. And that's our fillet added there. We've added those two. We can click the green tick. If you had added them wrong, or you can you can always right click on here, you can go edit, you can also delete them there and you can add them again there as well. Next up we're going to use the fillet tool again, so we're going to click on that. We're going to have a fillet 5 this time, so we're going to add it on that line there. And we're going to have to rotate this round and we're going to use it on that line there as well. And that's kind of our outside edge and that's where the plastic, it will bend round because it's been stretched around the corner there. We can take that there, we've got that added. Now we're going to just name our part. So down here, we're going to rename that as tray. Down here, we're also going to rename that as tray. And then we're just going to go and change the color. So right click on tray under part one. And we're going to edit the appearance. And you can choose what color you want. I'm going to go for red on this case. And just click the green tick. And that there is it done. So that's our tray added. We'll obviously, um, we used the extrude uh, command a lot in this here again, but we've also used the mirror, we're in the sketch environment, and we've also used the fillet here to add the rounded corners in.